Hello Aquarius and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for July 2022. So whether you're watching for your own sign or you're cross-watching for your twin sign, this reading will really resonate with you. And July is the month of results where you're either going to start to see results or you're going to see a preview of results. So the universe is going to speak to you in many, many ways and they give me fear. So the big message intuitively already is to let go of fear now, to know that you are safe, that Fear is just illusion. It's connected with the past and the future. It can't operate or live or survive or thrive in the now. Because the past is, you know, it's gone. It's happened for a reason. Even if we regret things or wish we'd done things differently, everything happened the way it did for a reason to grow our soul, to make us stronger and to teach us things. So the past is gone. Let go of what was, accept it, appreciate it and realise your power. Your power is always in the now. In the future, we worry. What if I never see my twin? What if I don't move into union? What if I fail? What if I'm not good enough? We go over these things in our minds and it's the ego edging the goodness out that causes the pain. So again, we take back our power in the now by visualising how we want things to be with no expectation. That means we remove the how, the when, the if and all the questions around it and just focus on the end result. And then instead we have unwavering faith that our dream is manifesting and that the universe knows what it's doing because it does. So we're going to use four decks of cards. The Angel Whispers of Love by Sandra Cole, the Twin Flame Wisdom Oracle by me, the Beyond Indigo Divine Guidance deck and the Lover's Path Tarot. So thank you, angels. So what's the energy around you and your twin? Wow, look at that, oh, they're jumping out for July. Okay, let's pop those there. And this one's moving on top. What's the energy, please, angels, for you and your twin during July? What's the energy? Wow, look how they're just jumping out the deck here. Got travel jumping out the deck, very powerful. So let's do a card for you, whatever sign you are, whether you are Aquarius or your masculine is, this is the card for you. Got magic coming in there. The card for your twin. Wow. I love how they're just jumping around here. Okay. And the energy of the connection. Look how they're jumping out the deck. This is powerful. Something big is shifting around your connection this month. And you're feeling this. Something new is coming in. Something's being born. So first of all, we've got travel. So this may be a month of travel. Maybe you're going somewhere. You're wanting to explore but I'm seeing this as your masculine moving on from the past. I'm seeing this as your masculine maybe even leaving a karmic situation. They've packed the bag and they're moving on. Now that bag can be a physical or an energetic bag. What does that mean? It means that could be them moving on in their mind. You know, moving on from struggle, doubt, knowing where to go and what to do. Releasing the old. This could also be in real time so they could actually be packing a physical case and moving out of a house or going on a journey or even traveling to you because I feel some of you are going to come together over vast oceans so if you live in different parts of the world this is a huge sign about travel to be together so things are definitely changing we've got new love and this is powerful because to move towards the new energy of this love, the new part of this journey, we have to leave behind the old. So something new is coming in. Now, again, this can cause triggers because we may look at the card and think, oh, a new love coming in for them. But that's not how I'm reading this or seeing this intuitively. I'm seeing this as your journey being reborn into something new, traveling towards the new, creating the new way. So again, look at the energy coming together, reunion, sorting things out, I've got angel bumps, sorting things out, as I'm told it by heaven, the cards validate it, and that's why I love doing the readings, because cards are my gift, you know, the angels show me, I feel it, they give me the information, and there it is, reunion, finding your way back to each other, because love always finds a way, and it does, why, because love always wins, Love always wins. And this is going to be something new, something magical, something even a bit crazy. And you're going to think, wow, I'm so glad 
I waited for this love. It's so worth it. Strength. You were strong enough to get through whatever's going on. You were stronger and tougher than anything you were currently facing. This journey and this life creates our warrior spirit. Remember who you are and why you have come. And when you come back together, it will all make sense. And you'll realise why the past had to happen that way. And why the future has been created the way it is. So shine. So the big message coming through for you this month is shine. Be you, be authentic. Shine bright. Be true to yourself and shine your light bright. Do not dim to fit in with others. You are a leader of love and a pioneer of truth. And I'm feeling this two ways. I'm feeling this, you know, for the masculine here, needing to be that leader, not needing to dim anymore. You know, maybe they've needed to do that in the past for their own self or their own well-being or to fit in with others, but they're not doing it any longer. And this is a huge message for the divine feminine to be that sunlight, to be the warmth of the sun and to look at things from a higher point of view. There are blessings in everything. Sometimes we just have to look a bit harder to find them. And it's so true. You know, when you guys come back together, it's all going to make sense and it's all going to fit into place in your mind because you're learning. Understand that mistakes are lessons in disguise. They give us the opportunity to do better, to see and respond with love, not fear. So forgive yourself for any judgment towards yourself and others and release this with love. So beautiful. So you're being reminded that you are a learner. You are learning and you are teaching. You're teaching your twin. Your twin learns from you too. So this is also a big message about releasing the past. And also to remember to be the observer. Because the observing of things gives us the faith. It says stop taking things personally and rise up above the situation. Things are a lot clearer from there. So observe things and find faith. When you believe it, you can achieve it, but you must believe it to achieve it. And it's so true. When we believe, we receive. Your soul has lived many lives and it's very wise. Listen to its wisdom and guidance because your soul is leading you along the path that you are truly here to be on. The path to reunion. So if you're guided to travel somewhere during July... Go with your heart and soul. Do what feels right because you just may cross paths with your twin. Do what feels right to you in every single moment. You are here to live a joyful life. So go for your passions and always do the things that bring joy into your life. So again, you know, if you're being guided to travel because it's going to bring joy in or do something for you or you're being guided to go somewhere or do something, maybe something new, something that you love that's new. Do that because it's going to move you towards your union. When we're operating in joy and power and we stay positive, look at this, things make sense. Things fall into position quicker. So stay positive and raise your vibration and use gratitude as a way of life and make it your choice to feel good in your daily life. So each day, see it as a new day. See it as an opportunity to love your life, to love your twin, to love being you. And that's going to raise your vibration. It's going to help you to stay positive and gratitude will bring more in and you're going to move towards a reunion. So I'm definitely feeling reunion for some of you in July or getting close to it. Because remember, you're seeing results here or a preview of what's to come. Your angels are always guiding you on your path. Quiet your mind in the outside world. Listen to and follow the guidance that comes through your intuition. So you know your truth about reunion, about your journey and about your future. And abundance is flowing into your life. So this is going to be a very abundant month for you. A month where you feel free, ready, because you're moving on from the past. And that's what I'm feeling as well with the travel card. You know, traveling forward, moving on. Doesn't mean you're moving on from your twin. It means you're moving on from drama, struggle, doubt, negativity, fear. You're feeling powerful in the moment. So for you, we've got the nine of staves. Now, the energy is don't give up. And what they show me intuitively, and I know it's not in the picture there, but they show me a great tiger. And the water tiger is the energy of 2022. And he's speaking to you today. 
And he's saying, don't give up on what you want. Be confident and be strong about it. You're moving towards a new beginning. You're moving towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Things are making more sense. Even when we go through the narrow entries, we come out into the open. So things are making more sense. And there's magic here. You are both becoming the magician. You're both tapping in with your heart space. You're both realizing your truth. And you know so much now about your journey, so much more than you did before. Your person is reminding you they still need to let go, let go of fear, let go of maybe a karmic situation, but they're ready to move on. He's always with you in spirit. He's right by your side. He's curious about what you're doing. He may be watching you on social media. He may be sending you tele telepathic communication. He may be connecting with you in dreams here about the future. So I feel you're going to be dreaming about each other in July. You're going to be dreaming about the type of life you want to live because you're building that future. And when you come together in reunion, you're going to talk about the future that you want. So right now you're building this foundation. Some of you, it's going to happen very quickly. Some of you, it's going to take a bit longer. I'm feeling one to four months to build exactly what you want it to be. And we've got the Queen of Cups, so remember who you are. You know, remember that you are powerful. I feel something big could come in around the full moon. It is a powerful one. You know, it's connected with the book energy, which is the stag. So the full moon is going to bring in a shift in your emotions too. So I feel that around the full moon, there could be high and low emotions. You know, you may be feeling over emotional. You may be feeling a bit teary. This could also be the energy where the masculines return to you here to bring in that new beginning, the Ace of Staves. So this is definitely a month of action towards your goals. And look at this desire and love. And this is Tristan and Isolate. So very powerful energy, passion, desire. Look at the redness of her hair there, fire. So action energy coming in around you in July to move forward. I feel there could possibly be some action here around the full moon. So the full moon bringing in a power, the power to release the old, to bring in the new, but to move things forward. So psychic energy here and also releasing yourself from psychic attack. You know, if anything's been getting you down or coming at you or if you've been feeling a bit drained, ask Archangel Michael to shield you from any psychic attack. So around the full moon, just watch your energy. Make sure you're shielding yourself. Don't be surprised if you do feel a bit emotional or you do want to go cry because it's everything is moving things into place. So July is going to be a month of action towards the foundation you are building and there could possibly be a reunion. But it's showing you to keep the faith in your dreams, to stay positive, to remember you are strong enough to carry on and to know that the water tiger is speaking to you, saying to you be confident and strong. So you may see tigers during July as a big sign of power. And think about the tiger. They kind of stalk the prey, they bide the time and then they pounce. And that's what I feel your masculine is doing. I feel he's watching you. So, you know, he's got his eye on you in some way during this month, whether it's through telepathy and his head in a dream, through a vision, or he's watching you. He's biding his time and then he's going to pounce. And that could possibly happen around the full moon. I hope this helps. Have a great month and I'll see you soon.